To connect Tapo C520 camera with Android smartphone, first you will need to download an app called Tapo. You can find it on a Google Play Store or any other store that you're using on your smartphone device. If not, uh, then you may try to find the app version on the Google. And uh, when you have that app installed, we can open it. Then you will need to register your account and also allow any permissions it will ask for. After which we can uh, go to home and add our device. Now in the top search, look for C520WS. Select it and then find which version of camera you have. Now you can check this version by flipping your gimbal on camera all the way down and then on this sticker right here you can see the exact version. As you can also see it's a 1.0 for me. So I'm going with the first option and then we can choose either Ethernet or wireless connection for our camera. There's the Ethernet plug on the camera right here that you can connect to internet but in this case I'm going with the wireless option. Let's move to the next step and uh, then power up your camera, which I forgot to motion mention. I mean, uh, your camera needs to be on. And when you have a LED lamp in front of it flashing with a red green light, that means it's ready for the setup. So let's move to the next step. And now during this screen, you might see a notification telling you to connect to the Wi-Fi. Make sure to agree. If you don't see this notification, check uh, your notification bar. And if you don't have this notification, then try to proceed. It should work fine as it's already uh, happened and your camera is connected. Now we need to choose our Wi-Fi network uh, for the camera. And I'm going with uh, this one and there's no 5G networks available. So keep that in your mind. You need a 2.4G network to actually connect it. So let's go with this one and I'm gonna take my phone off the camera just to enter a password. Okay, so it's connected. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connected. Now after pairing we can rename our device for identification. Let's move to the next step with the default name. Then you can change the place where your camera will be sitting. And finally we can choose a custom icon. Now everything sounds good. We can uh, skip or agree or and start a plan for subscription. Keep in mind that it requires you to pay for it. So I'm gonna skip it. Then we can set up local storage by connecting a micro SD card to the back of the camera. I've made a specific video on how you can do it. So be sure to watch it if you uh, want to know. Then we can uh, go for firmware update time. You can change it right here. I'm gonna set it as default. And finally, our camera is connected.